had our first event called Young Success Stories number one. And then we came up with the second version of the, uh, of the event. And then I invited another four Brazilians and they accept. Thanks everyone. Hi guys, how are you doing? There's a camera here, let me see. Hi guys. Uh, I'll be talking a little bit about my journey in Ireland and I hope I can bring some insight to your own lives and your own careers. It's a unique opportunity for me to come here and talk in English about myself. I never imagined this would happen one day in my life. The biggest dream of my life was to live abroad. I think I left Brazil quite late. I was, of course, in college, working, had my obligations there. So I was doing two universities at the same time. It was a bit crazy. And on the side, I used to draw for fun. Uh, if you think about uh, my degree, I have a degree in digital design, uh, and I never worked as a designer. But before I came here and before I turned a recruiter, and I left a career in journalism. I left 12 years behind. So far I have got a, I, I have more than 10 years work experience in an Irish environment. I think this is, is important to, to emphasize because when I came here I had no experience at all. Honestly, I probably sent like CVs to the same job positions like 10,000 times before. Um, and I submitted my CV, which I knew I could write well, with a cover letter that I knew I could write well, with the drawings then maybe I could get something. So I sent it along and I got the job interview. I didn't know, so there's a word in Portuguese that's called pretender. When you pretend, in Portuguese it means intent. And I thought that it was the same thing in English. So she was like, so tell me about your plans. And I was like, well, uh, I pretend to learn English. And I pretend that I know a lot of stuff and all of this stuff in this TV, I pretend that I know all of this. She believed in me, she was like, okay, I trust you, you're probably saying the truth, you're just not aware of the work. But instead of helping me to find a job, he offered me a job. Why don't you use your Portuguese skills, your language skills, to help your community, like the Brazilian community, and also helping us in the same way here at the Prudence. So I started doing courses, uh, and I took a specific course on picture book making. And I remember calling my husband when I finished that course and I was on the verge of tears and I said to him, listen, making books for children, this is my calling, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I started applying crazy and doing network, trying to do volunteering works, uh, meeting people on the street and asking if they knew somebody. So I wanted to share with you um, that lesson when I realized that I had to go into a different industry, I tried to find support and network. So I want to invite you to reflect upon your own careers and think about how are you preparing to find your own crowd? What do you have to bring to the table? Because everyone has something to bring to the table. So think about like not going necessarily in a straight line. You may go through like a, a side line here, or maybe through a side project, or maybe knowing someone. So networking, being in events like this today is essential for you to get to know people that may be referring you in the future, or maybe just someone who you knew, and then through that connection you may know someone else. So it's super important that you keep connecting, keep grabbing your mind. Thank you very much for the opportunity.